So this is the Flip and Tray Xeno Skin Deck Case from Ultimate Guard. And I've actually got a couple of different ones here because this product comes in a few different varieties. So this is actually the smallest version. This is the Flip and Tray 80 plus variety. Um, and there is also a 100 plus variety. And there's then a kind of a separate series that's the twin flipping trays and there's a 160 variety which is i guess you know double the 80 and then a 200 variety i actually don't have a 160 variety but i do have a 200 plus variety i'm going to briefly show them all in this video on this really nice ultimate guard mat that it happened to have so this is a tower deck box um you guys probably have seen tower deck boxes they're basically just the more vertically oriented deck boxes and they usually have a place for your supplies and they're just upscale and if there's one thing I can say about Ultimate Guard products, they're very, very upscale deck boxes. Um, really great build quality, um, really great presentation. So let's take a look at this one. You actually have this really nice, grippy, grippy um, exterior. I love it, uh, actually. It feels so nice in the hands. Um, I'm not sure if you can kind of tell, but it's, you hear that sound a bit. Uh, it feels really great in the hands and, um, it's also just got a nice, pretty minimalistic look. Um, it has the Ultimate Guard branding on the front and on the top it says, you know, flip and tray. And then on the bottom it's got Ultimate Guard again. One thing I will say, and this is just a very, 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 very small, I don't even know how to call it a complaint. I feel like they actually kind of overbranded a bit. Um, Ultimate Guard here, Ultimate Guard here, and then like name of the case. I feel like um, the BCW Deck Locker, which is very similar to this product, is a little bit more minimalistic and kind of does a better job of uh, being seen but not heard if that makes sense anyway though these come in a variety of colors um, red blue purple even I mean you know white gray black lots of different colors and um, they're really cool they actually make for great gifts fun fact I got on uh, the twins Alec and Alex two of these for Christmas last year and they loved them so yeah it's a nice size um, it's you know better uh, better presented than your average deck box but it's actually not too big or heavy I mean, it's also really tough, so when you put a little bit of pressure on here, it's not really going to fold, and that's something that I really like about it. So, you guys want to see what's on the inside. When you open it up, it's got these magnetic closings. These are really tough, actually tougher than competing brands. If you can hear that, it really snaps closed, and um, that applies to both. So you can see these circles are the magnetic uh, sections, and on the inside, it's got this really, really great feeling microfiber cloth. And it's like gray, which is one of my favorite colors. So, uh, you know, I'm loving this and you can open like one at a time. You can only open this or you can like only open this strap. This is where you keep your deck. And this is where you would keep your supplies like dice and coins. And to make a quick example, I've actually got some marbles and some coins that I'm just sort of putting in here to show you. They just fit right in and you can slide them out and you could even like, you know, just slide out that stuff dice counters tokens um, and then you can also slide out your deck which also has a sliding compartment that keeps it safe and since it's sort of in an enclosed space it's great because well your cards won't go flying everywhere if you ever like you know do happen to drop this box or shake it around everything still stays in place and that's really great um, this is the 60 plus variety and remember these are, or, sorry, excuse me, 80 plus variety, but remember these are made for magic cards, which are a little bit larger and um, usually the decks are a bit larger. I know they have like commander decks, which are, I believe 60 cards, but don't quote me on that. I don't play magic, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. But for Yu-Gi-Oh, it's great because you can fit like a main side and extra deck. You're a newbie, check out that profile. Uh, you can fit a main side and extra deck really comfortably in here. There's still a lot of space left, so that's great. Uh, your cards get a little bit of room to breathe. You're not having like struggle to pull them out whenever you get your deck out. So that's great. And the inside still has this um, nice microfiber interior that you can kind of look in and see. So I really like it. Um, one more thing to remember is when you're putting these back in, remember to put them in with this sort of cutout facing outwards, because if you don't, then you'll end up kind of with your deck box in like that. And it's really hard to pull out. Same applies to this section here. And the cool part about these is like when you pull them out, you can just sort of sit them on the table and they still look nice, neat and presentable and you can close the deck box and it's great. I love that closing sound. It's nice and 
firm, lets you know that you're working with a really tough product. And so I'll briefly show the other two products just for people who are interested in seeing them. This closes really nicely and looks really great. This is the 100 plus variety. It's in purple, just, you know, random color. They come in all kinds. And the main difference here, still really nice, still really, really premium looking and feeling, is it's a bit wider than um, the 80 version because, you know, it's meant to hold more cards. So as you can see, a little bit wider. This probably isn't something you'd want as a Yu-Gi-Oh player. I don't think you'd really need it. I mean, you could probably use a divider and have two 40 card decks have them fit in here, but that's not really the purpose. And this is a little bit wider to hold more stuff. So really cool. Like I said, I'm missing the 160 variety, but I do have the 200. And this is actually called the Twin Flippin' Tray. Now, um, this is a really nice looking product, but it is really big. I don't think that you would need it for Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, it can hold two decks super comfortably. Um, it actually kind of opens like this and still has the middle flap. Although in this situation, the middle flap has very little actual utility um, or less utility, I'd say, but uh, it still reveals this. The one sort of question I have with the design of this is that um, these two compartments, these compartments work a lot like the rest of the compartments. They hold your decks, and so you can have your deck in like horizontally or vertically, but they're oriented this way, but then your like accessory compartment is order is like it's oriented like this, so that's a bit of an anomaly to me, uh, but I guess I see design-wise why they kind of had to do that, because they could have made it maybe really tall and had these go in in a fashion more like this, but then that would have been a really tall product and it might have looked a bit awkward. And that might be how the 160 version looks. I'm not sure, I haven't had my hands on that before. But otherwise, it's really great. And this version also has the Ultimate Guard branding right here, which looks incredible. Same great microfiber, uh, sort of clothy finish. And um, yeah, so all in all, what do I think of this? Well, I think that honestly, Ultimate Guard does probably the best of these tower deck boxes. They just feel so premium and they just look so nice. Um, you really feel like you're protecting your cards with something that's worth the price. And you can find these for just around $20, which in my opinion is great value for money. So definitely take a chance to pick one up if you haven't. As I said before, they come in a couple of different varieties. I'll sort of put these here such that you can see, you know, the amounts. So, you know, like I said, there's like a 100, an 80, a 200. So. Yeah, and they come in lots of colors. I will link you to the product in the description if you're interested in purchasing it. It's a really great, great, great deck box. If you want something that's like, you know, higher end, looks a little bit nicer, feels a little bit nicer, but still is minimalistic and presentable, doesn't draw a lot of attention to itself, and does its job, then don't really look any further than this product. It's really, really great. I don't regret it one bit. I've been loving these, so I'm sure you guys will like it too. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and check out ultimate guard for more of these and then subscribe to my channel for more reviews and give me suggestions for more stuff to take a look at i'll see you guys in the next one peace